My real name is Sandro Figueroa. That's my mother saying, nah, fuck Santa, fuck Santa, Sandro Figueroa. <laughs> and I started playing graffiti in the 80s. I sit down with my two boys at Ski and Rec. And that's the Santos coming out in my name. You know, I'm from Puerto Rico. I'm from San Juan for the capital. And my family, you know, he moved to before the Lois Isa de Barrio and Condado La Salsa. I'm back and forth in the 80s. And I say, you know what? When we finish school, I'll get the fuck out of here. And 1986, I remember that. See you, New York. Uh, but, see you, Puerto Rico. When I when I was younger, I was like, uh, this was like an 04. I saw some some of your videos and and I saw like Tats Crew and all that. How was that? Uh, your your growth as a graffiti artist here in New York to where you're at now. Like, what was some of the process? Something that you discovered? Yeah, the process and back in the day is crazy. You need fire a lot for graffiti. Graffiti is like crazy fucking game. And um, painting and every day drawing. I, I'm doing a lot of sketch every day. You know, I'm down with one of the biggest crew in, in the planet, TAT. And that the last one, I don't paint like so clean like these people, you know. Yeah. Thank God these people teaching me a lot of things and and push me doing like this, like that, and so far. I respect myself, the only you need like, sit down in your house and drawing every fucking day. And you know doing it every day, it's like you're working like, mechanical, whatever, basketball, you need practice every day. So people think that you're painting the wall, oh, fucking famous, fuck this fucking thing. You got it. The title that people push you like, like, oh, this guy is a fucking legend. But if you don't put your own fucking title, you know what I mean? I think it's, I'm one of the, the good graffiti writers in you know New York, represent New York City, hard in Puerto Rico, and move forward, man, doing it like painting, when you got time painting every week. I paint in Saturday. I remember painting Saturday, Sunday, sometime Monday, Tuesday, painting, painting, painting. Every day. I wanna do it better. I wanna learn this game. Mm -hmm. I'm coming from for the Caribbean. Caribbean, he don't know what the graffiti is, you know. Yeah. The graffiti for us is like in Spanish, graffiti, aerosol. Are you crazy, boy? I said, no, I want to make it, bro. I like, yeah. I like this kind of art. And anybody in my country, and you know, Puerto Rico, thinking like, this guy is crazy. Yeah. And right now, too many years, 31 years in this game, wow. people understand now, like, oh, you're making it, bro. Remember yeah. you said that back then. The only different in Puerto Rico, people told me something like, if you want to do something, doing it right. Yeah. Don't people call me toy, don't people, oh, don't do it, no. My boys, my people grow with me. Mm -hmm. He pushing me and respect me. And that's what I mean. Look, I never expect I want to got studio in this house, bro. That's awesome, man. 400 square feet, I never, I never think I want to do that kind of art, doing the evolution. It's really difficult, you take care of graffiti, you know, you paint graffiti every day and you're doing something different. I started doing like abstract pieces, canvas. So little by little started to see, you know, Andy Warhol, all these things, and I'm trying to like, in Puerto Rico, call it a soup, where you pull like, you know, that, that carne, everything together and doing the soup. I'm doing something like that, I paint, pull abstract, graffiti, pop, and that's my style's coming from right now. Like this, you know, it's more colors, more power, more tags. I never, I never forget where we're coming from. You know, the style, that acrylic marker, mm -hmm. spray can. I remember I came I came here maybe like seven or eight years ago and I, I seen this style on the walls here in the Bronx. Yeah. These are these letters right here. Yeah, a lot of people told me I don't got New York City style. Like you got you European, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, whatever you want to call. Yeah. I love it. I'm trying to do my own mechanic lettering. I don't want to look the same to all the one people. Mm -hmm. It's difficult. with too many graffiti writers, too many artists in the street. But the people know you for things, for colors, like for design, what kind of the, the, the style you got, what kind of the details you put in the, in the pieces. And you put the trademark, people know, oh, that's him too, you know. He's doing all the things, all the lines. It's hard, man. I never expect in my life I want to do something like that. Sometimes I sit down in my house and I go, make it, you know what I mean? That's Before awesome. I try to do an outline, it's like, <laughs> ugly. You know, the, all these pieces I got in my house, I, I call it ugly because right now I understand the game. But for me, back in the days, it's like, ooh, like now, like we doing it now. What, what about, what, what is some advice, like for myself, like, uh, you know, I used to do graffiti. I've been doing a couple of murals a couple of years. And uh, I, I actually went back to school because I one day I want to teach, but I want to teach like murals and uh, aerosol and entrepreneurship. A what, what's a good tip? And you got. You got time for going to school, I think it's, yeah. it's, it's a good idea, man. Okay. I think I wanna, one day I say, one day I wanna go to school in the night, I wanna learn more for the art. Yeah. Back in the day, it's difficult to me. My mm -hmm. mother not got kind of money for going to school, you know, 
I'm from Puerto, Puerto Rico. Yes. So it's really, really hard. And don't lose your time, man. Mm -hmm. Time is time is money, you know what I mean? Okay. Uh, and I'm and I'm thinking like something happened for a reason. But I'm thinking I'm like, I stop at 90 something and I do what we're doing it now. You never know I wanna make it or you never know I'm not doing nothing. Mm -hmm. But you got the opportunity now doing what you do and what you love. Don't do it for the fame. Don't do it for like, oh, you know who I'm. Do it for the you love, for you mm -hmm. show to people. Doing it now. Your passion. Doing it now, man. Doing it now. Listen, and forget what the people say. People sometimes like, oh, that's, I don't like that. And you like it, you feel comfortable. Just do it. Just do it. People got different opinions. Other people like it, people don't yeah. like it. What I don't care, you rich or poor, whatever. Yeah. Well, the people want to say something, say something. I remember when I would walk out of the, the house with spray cans. I was like 16, 17. And my dad would be like, ¿A dónde vas? And I'll be like, voy a pintar una pared para una organización or something. And he's like, why are you wasting your time? Why are you wasting your money? But I, I, that's what I wanted to do. That's what I love to do. Yeah. And then later, be, people think you, know, you waste your time and people don't understand. Like, listen. It's better you doing something that started selling drug or using drug, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's my drug, man. Painting every day. Listen, you need doing it every day, doing it and doing it. And respect yourself, bro, and, and move forward. And you think you got time and, and, and for doing big mural. Yeah. Show, express to people, look, that's me. That's it. And every time you're doing one, people want to respect you more and more and more. You never know. One day, boom. I've kind of experimented with different Portraits, abstract, things like that, but I feel like I'm still developing. It depends what you like. I haven't done a body of work. It depends what you like. Yeah. What, what you like. And you like like pop or you like doing a, like like what's it called? You know, poetry? Mm -hmm. It depends. You wanna do one thing you like it and yeah. you want hundred percent. And you started today and a couple of years you wanna see the evolution. Oh shit, I remember when we painting this. Looking okay. looking now, look at what's the different. It's the same like this. I paint campus back in the day. It don't look like that. And when we painting campus now, I see the evolution. I see photos in my house. It's a wall. And you better tell me, yo, that's amazing. Before I don't say that. Yeah. People say that's why. <laughs> but right now, I see, I see how far I'm going with the graffiti thing. People think graffiti is banned. Like, yeah, I think it's the best art in the planet. Mm -hmm. When you create a like a body of work, like for example, let's say the, these pieces here that you're making. What what inspires you to 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 keep I, creating that same? I use it. I use the 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 when we started doing pop abstract graffiti. The first time it's difficult. People started calling your name. You look like Andy Wool. You look like Cry. You look like Roy. I was like, I don't want to people call me that. Mm -hmm. I want to people call you, you look like Sen too. So like. You need work every day the body and talking to my friends, what you think? Oh, it's nice like this, like this. You listen to all the opinions. You need to listen yeah. to people. Sometimes people think, I know, I know everything. That's wrong. Yeah. You listen to people. Some people tell something that you don't want to, you don't want to, you know, you listen, but you don't want to put the, but some people say something, okay, you, oh, okay, for this, for this, and you fix it. And you want to know you grew up. A lot of people don't, don't like listening. A lot of people think, oh, paint graffiti, nobody need teaching me. Mm -hmm. Listen, sometimes you're going straight doing this piece, uh -huh. and you, sometimes you lose. Look okay, at too many colors. And somebody says, you'll stop. And then you better put blue right here. Why? For this, and the blue. It pops out. It pops out. I painted in Germany with my son. My son only got 27 years old. Wow. I painted a huge mirror when I said, Daddy, I think this color is not good. Why? For this, this. And I changed the color he said to me. The mirror look amazing. And drawing every day and follow follow what you want to do. That's the more important thing is like, for you don't want to confuse what you want to do. I tell everybody, and you like it, and you love it, and you feel like, that's me. Yeah. I don't care what people say. Wow. That's what happened in my studio. I tell them people, hey, you want to come to my studio? Okay, but I don't want one hour. No. Yeah. Because sometimes people want to hang out. I don't yeah. have time for hang out. You got to work. And the same yeah. way, you got a studio, mm -hmm. nobody in your studio. Your assistant, your brother, he feels something, that's it. You know why? Like that, you respect. You, start, like, you okay. respect what you do. And the people, like, you go to Jose Barla, you know, mm -hmm. yo, want to go to the studio? First, you don't want to touch the phone. Yeah. Second one, I said, I don't got time for that. Yeah. Okay, you got business. Right now, it's, mm -hmm. it's, right now, it's, it's business. You know what I mean? Yep. 
So I got my manager, I got, the only people got keys in my studio is my manager and my partner can check, you know, something happened to me or whatever, you know yes. what I mean? But I respect myself in my studio and work. Working every day, you buy working, working, working. Don't go and hang out and, no, no. I don't got shows. Yes. I don't care, I'm still painting. Yeah. But the collector walk inside my studio, you got something to show to people. Oh yeah. Look, I got that show from Germany, right? And I got another painting for another show. And I control the new painting for the future show. Nice. And I don't like what the artist waiting for. Oh, I got the show, I'm be painting the canvas. No, yeah. it's not like that. You gotta have stuff ready. Yeah. yeah. And you know why you don't force it nothing like, oh, that canvas in three months. You force doing something, where yeah. you put something, oh, I don't like it. Why? Well, you land for the last minute. Yeah. And that's not good. I see what you do. Like, the only, you, hey, like, I see what you do. You're doing it right. The only, 100%. That's yes. it. 100%. I'm trying to do on shows. Okay. Shows is like, sometimes 12 pieces mm -hmm. or 18 pieces. Yes. Different sizes. Doing show, buy the material, learn a stretching canvas. Yes. You better learn that. Mm -hmm. Put that wood together. What kind of the cat is uh, like the, the acrylic you're using. I mix my own paint. Yeah. Acrylic, like whatever color I do, you know, it's difficult. You try and do it different now and the in the art is really difficult. But I'm, I'm I'm mixing my own colors. Nice. I want light blue, I use a light, I mix it. Okay. And like that you separate it to, to everybody. Yeah. Like you look different in the gallery. You're not using the same thing no, straight out of the No, the same thing, I'm using 14 ounce of material. I, I, I pull the pieces together. Mm -hmm. Everything is correct, like, you see the pieces, and they bring it up to put in the box. Like really, really like, if you want to do the print, you better use the, the white gloves. Yeah. For no thing to present, you better learn from this thing. Okay. Like the collector is open in hands. The collector paid three or four thousand dollars for something. Yes. You want to know why? Why? It's why. This, 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 and people like the people. So um, the collector is really emotional. Oh, why are you going from? Why are you from Puerto Rico? Oh my God, you're doing this. You're bringing video. Oh, look at what you're doing now. And that's what you're selling pieces. Mm -hmm. And the first time you're selling one collector one piece, that's your family for life. Yes. And I never expect you want to, I want to see my painting in Germany, in Paris, in London. And you see houses with my painting, they're like, I'm bugging out, that's why. And it's like, how far you want to go? The funny thing, when we go to Europe, people teaching me. Yes. My boys over there, no, using this, using this. And I said, why in America it's not like that? Yeah, people are different in Europe. Yeah. They're more open-minded, more welcoming. And I'm gonna, hey, listen, I'm from yeah. New York, and, and sometimes <laughs> it's like, why, why? See, I'm from here, come on, man. Maybe do you think that it's because of where we come from, like having a little bit of resources? Yeah, people think it's better than nobody. It's better, yeah. I'm the king, the king, the king, the king. Oh, I'm, I'm famous. Fuck that shit. I don't want to tell them that I'm not famous. Yeah. You know why the land is so fuck you, pay me the rent. Yeah. It's the truth. They say I try and hold my friends. People say, oh, don't do it. Why? It's money for everybody. Yeah. Everybody. It's money for everybody. The only everybody is fucking separate. I don't like it. Like imagine all graffiti. Of course, like all the people yeah, painting came feeding, together. Came yeah. together. Damn. You don't understand, bro. Yeah. Woo! I don't work for nobody. And I don't make money. I don't pay bills. People understand that. I don't make money every Friday, Saturday. Mm -hmm. One month you're selling. One month you're not selling. Yeah. That's, that's his game. It's a roller coaster. Yeah, but listen, <laughs> and, you, and you know, like, and you work, like, suppose you work, they start selling pieces, and you, okay, I got this money, pay the rent for three months. You need to learn that. Yes. That's it. Hey, staying ahead of the game, right? Yeah. I feel like even as an older person, like I, I had to learn like financial literacy and yeah, but it's coming. Saving and, and that all one this, is yeah. coming when I'm really bad with that. Yeah. I'm not even doing that. That's coming when you started doing galleries. Mm -hmm. But the first you want to do, sit down, sit down, relax one day, mm -hmm. think what kind of style I want to do, and I want to do it 100%. What kind of material are you using? And we we'll make up prepared a couple pieces. Okay, I walk into the gallery. They said, you got your card? You don't talk with the gallery. The gallery don't want to listen to you. Yeah. Grab the card and the email, you send the, you doing a PDF. Yeah. Well, all your pieces, the sizes, mm -hmm. mixed media, like this, like this, like this. And show them. Some gallery want to say yes, yeah, but listen, okay. a lot of gallery want to say no the first time. Yes. Because you don't got the name in this mm -hmm. game. It happened to me. Yeah. And he want to push a little bit stress. 
but don't give up. Okay. You never know. You never know I'm talking to you today. Yeah. And two years, you like fucking heaven. Woo, doing big, big, you never know. Yeah. Listen, that's what I'm gonna tell the people. Don't disrespect nobody. Yo, I see my friend, like, doing back in the day, what he doing now. That's what happened, I'm telling people. That's fucking African thing, bro. Everybody the same. Yeah, graffiti. Everybody the same, different stuff. Yeah. Simple, like that. The only I like, the only I don't like in the graffiti game, like when me painting on somebody, I want it finished. Yes. I don't like you hang out talking shit, drinking, and never finish. I need yeah. photos. I want it, you know. Yeah. When me painting on somebody, it better you finish. Yes. You know me, you got problems. But I got little kid, got family. Yes. The time I go with you painting and you yeah. don't finish, piss me off. Yeah. I finish one day. I do a huge yeah. piece. Of, yeah, I don't do a fucking huge piece. Of, yeah. And you do one small one, you don't finish. Yeah. You gotta take it serious. And a lot of the graffiti writers doing like that. Never finish, drinking, body, oh, you Messing know, around. Yo, back in the day, you know who I am. Fuck that shit, bro. Come on, enjoy the day. Yeah. All finish, sit down and drinking and talk, you know what I mean? It's time for everything. You know what the, the beautiful thing? Like, what you walk, drink, you, I don't know you drink coffee, I drink coffee. I like coffee, yeah. You drink coffee up in your studio? Yeah. Oh man, you smell like the paint. And How do you keep the spray paint smells away? Okay. In here, uh, I'm not using so much. I use a water base. Okay. All this paint, yeah, it's for painting in the street. Okay, that's the street. Yeah, but yeah, the yeah. water base. H2O. Yeah. Yeah. Now the Montana, yes, yeah, two of those. Yeah. And 94, and I got this machine. Can you put it back again for clean the the air? Okay. Now listen, every morning you open, drink coffee, send the email, and you and the atmosphere. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like getting your zone. Listen, yeah. I got. I got some here, I got goosebumps. Okay. Yeah, you, I wanna do this. You started painting, who call or go back and look and see, oh man, I like this, I wanna put this, I wanna put. Experiment. You wanna remember for me for life. Yeah. You wanna remember, I remember someone told me that, listen, this is the best, I think the best, uh, like, like, energy you got in your life, man. It's something like, like you never wanna expect, I wanna go so far with graffiti. And the evolution you're doing now in the galleries, it's like wow. And what, what's something that uh, keeps you inspired, like uh, to keep creating or to keep making? Every time, life? every time you're traveling. Yeah. Every time you're traveling, you see a show. Right now, I see a show in Germany. Yes. And I see people. You hear understand you. Yeah. And you see the people buy you pieces. Poof, you want to create more and more and yes. more. And what we want to bring for the next show for these people? Okay. Let me bring fresh color. Let me bring the, like the kind of style, the kind of tag. You know what I mean? That's what you want to buy, like doing better and better. But don't, like, the first time you're doing show, three or four shows, you're not selling nothing. Yes. Don't give up. Yeah. It's like that's hard, bro. Because you hang it out with the girl. The first two dates, you know, girl is really nice. Yeah. You know, <laughs> the same day, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> yeah. it's like that. And what, what, are, what are some of the countries that you visited so far with, like, your artwork and, and places that you've been to so far? Paris, Germany, London, uh, Italy, uh, Los Angeles, um, um, San Francisco, Mexico, Peru. Do you have a favorite place? Yeah. What's your favorite? Uh, uh, Spain. Spain. In Germany, Paris. Nice. The three places, you know why? they serious collectors. People respect what you do a lot. It's not like, I got that, kind of, that piece, right? Oh, I want this piece fucking matching with my sofa. That pissed me off. You don't know what the fuck you doing. I like what the collector say, yo, I want that piece, you know why? I like the material you're using, the quality of wood you're using. Mm -hmm. I like where you're coming from. You're from Puerto Rico. The people go to you too and check yeah. who are you. That's a real collector. That's the okay. people like, whoa. They get to know who you are. Yeah, yeah. This I want to buy it for these people got history behind it. That's a real thing. Do you still keep in contact with some of the TATS members and stuff? Yeah, I'm talking to BG a lot. Really? Nice. BG with my friend. I don't tell Because I remember that. seeing the TATS crew video. Yeah. That was like one of my okay. favorite videos, man. I got photos right here with the yeah. crew together when we got hair, you know what I mean? Yes. I got nice photos over there. Nice. Everybody call them Barrio Boys because the photos back at teacher. Everybody wants black t shirt. Yeah. With the chain, the TAT. <laughs> no, listen, I learned a lot when, when, when the TAT, man. Why you be nice at how and I'm alive. Yes. You know, you know, everybody going their own way, but I respect the people. I, re awesome. I respect the crew now. And listen, T A T. Yes. Got tattoo T A T in the back. Cross yes. my back. It's forever. Yes. I don't down with the crew, but it's forever. You know what yes. I mean? 
And these people open the door for me when we do it now. Did you ever did you ever see yourself as a as a legend in the arts? Nah. I see my father. Because I, I see you like a legend, man. You're a living legend. Like yeah, but I, I where you see, came I, I from, feel, where you I feel, my, I feel myself yeah. like I'm trying to hold everybody. Yeah. You know. That's the title people put for you. But I feel like I'm another one graffiti writer from New York. Like put New York graffiti in, in the top. Yeah. Legend. I never, I never liked that kind of thing. People call me and, and give me, oh, you a king, you a lady. I said, like, no, no, no. I like you, bro. I got heart at you. Yeah. And the people sometimes are surprised. Listen, why are you so humble? Yeah. I said, like, why? What the fuck? I'm, yeah. Listen, like you. No, but are you, listen, that's the art situation. I understand that. Mm -hmm. But I'm human being. I said, one day I remember I went to Spain, little kid, and they said, yeah, you sent two, right? In Spanish. Tu eres sent two? Oh my God. Algún día voy a pintar contigo. <laughs> and I remember that it was Friday. Friday. I said, what are you doing on Sunday? We're going to do a compa. Oh, that's nice. I'm going to do a compa with you. Wow. I did the life. You know why? I'm a little kid, bro. Yeah. And if you're a little kid, you're a little kid. Yeah. You're a little kid, you understand? And that's what I mean. I mean, yeah. Look, that poster there. That was 2004 in Sevilla, Spain. Wow. Yeah. You know why? Oh, you never know. You never know. La, la vida da vuelta. The funny thing back in the days, I do in Blackboard, I do in, in un Blackboard, I do un, un S. En otro Blackboard, I do un E. En el otro, I do un N, en, en dos. Y un día yo fui a París y se unieron cuatro diferentes partes del mundo con Centu. Oh, wow. Yo, I'm cool, fucking freak out. Like, whoa, I remember when you doing that to me. Bro. And pusieron los cuatro libros. Yes. And I mean, I mean, whoa, that's like, you never expect. People put that in the side. And yeah, put it together. Yeah. Wow. Do you do you have a favorite year when you were painting murals out here or doing graffiti in the East Coast? Yeah, and when we when we down in TAT, I think it's 2003 or four. Yeah. We do all this war right here. Go doing production. Don't stop. Down, round one and top and top and your production. Like and a lot of the years bring graffiti. And that time, that's what we learned for real, for real. Was the 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 was the the evolution of graffiti? Yes. People think, oh, you paint? No, you don't know. Mm -hmm. It's one at a time, like one year, like you see. Then I doing it right. A lot of this year doing it high. Mm -hmm. Right now, I feel I'm doing it really, really right. I think I got four. Let me show you. Is like yeah, I remember that. And the funny thing? Yeah. I use some whatever color found in half. Yes. And my boy said, damn man, you fucking crazy. Why? What you want to do with this color? I use it. Right here, right here, right here. Oh, that's nice. Look in here. Right oh, yeah. Yeah, those are huge pieces, man. That, I painted that with my son the other day. Wow. I do all that right here, my son painting the flowers. That's awesome. Yeah. I know he want to look like he like Picasso, he like all that thing, you know what I mean? Latino, ya tu sabes, hasta la muerte. No se quiten, don't give up, stay, move forward. Tu corazón, hard, you know what I mean? When you see, I want to do in that, I don't care what the people say, move forward. Like people say, oh, Latino, but Latino, estamos siempre arriba, you know what I mean? Yes. La gente está equivocada, people, people sometimes are confused. Listen, Latinos, every time is on top. You learn every day. Yo no lo sé todo. Aunque yo pinte 31 years graffiti, yo no lo sé todo. No lo sé todo. Todavía hay cosas graffiti que yo no sé, you know what I mean? So it's like you're learning more, you learn more every day and respect people. Respect people, don't think that you're fucking superstar. Que los superstars de acá arriba se caen, se rompen la cabeza. Yeah. Ah, man. <laughs> you better so go like, like humble guy, no pendejo tampoco, pero you know, humble and respect people. Otro thing, los cuadros nunca pueden tocar el piso. Si. Tiene que tener algo abajo, si. Ok. Y un colector de esto en el piso. Yeah. Wow. Dice que tú no te respetas tú mismo. That's a good, that's a good tip. Yeah, or put, or put plastic, or put cor the corner, siempre. Yes. Cuando lo tiene puesto, porque siempre cogen cantazo en la esquina. Oh, yeah. That, that's what goes first, huh? Pero si no yo veo una galería sin bobo y mis cuadras en el piso, los mando para el carajo. Stop uh -huh. working with this people. Yeah. Do you, do you have any prints or anything for sale? Vienen ahora, salen ahora en... Salen en una semana. Yeah, online. Yeah, ¿No tienes algo ahorita? No, no tengo nada. Nothing. Nada, nada. Nothing or drawings or something. No. Yo te regalo ese, ese cuadro y lo monta. De veras? Are you serious? Oh my goodness. Este no está vendido, pero yo te regalo este. 
Pero tiene que montarlo y mandármelo sí. montado. Yeah. Yo te mando, yo te mando uno también. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh is gonna hook it up with a, a Santu uh, graffiti painting canvas. Oh my goodness. Pero es ese, ese, ese gordo de madera. Ya. Yeah. Cuando lo monto se ve increíble. Wow, gracias, man. Y cuando lo tenga en tu casa, send mi foro. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna put it in my studio, man. Okay, I remember I went there. And then I. Son Queens. I remember seeing your pieces somewhere around. Porque okay, en la esquina. That must have been Queens. Yeah, eso es uno que okay. te enseñó ahorita. Yeah. Pone en la esquina. Mira, esto era cuando yo estaba con Castro. Thank you, man. Muchas gracias. Thank you for the for the inspiration. Thank you for coming. And for the advice and everything. Thank you for coming. Think it right. Yes. Don't and and don't think so much. 